Hello and welcome, I'm Impact Frames and sorry that I have to cut the video before and basically I'm gonna start over and say well, whatever I was saying. And this is a Confio I workflow that I made for working with LCM and animated diff and also to use the IP adapter so it has the control net, IP adapter, animated diff and LCM. So it renders a bit quicker than the normal uh, animated diff workflow because you are using LCM as a sampler here and you have um, a bit of different settings to use, but yeah. So basically you load your model here and you, ca you can also load a separate by here and plug your things uh, from here to there, maybe. And that's how it will work the by in there. And then it pipes in into a LoRa stack here that I made for combining more LoRa's. So you have the, the most important thing on this workflow is the LCM LoRa that you can select here and you can select XDXL or S SSD1B. But I am using a 1.5 workflow and that's what I'm using. So there is also the, the prompt at the moment, I, f I find that it works better when you are using the control net to have it like without any prompting here if you are using an IP adapter. But you can put something in here if you are using another LoRa. For example, if I were using a second LoRa here, I think I will pass um, this one at the bottom. So basically the LCM has to be like the last LoRa that you use. and the other LoRa, you can put something here to trigger the, the trigger word for the LoRa's. And there is also this prompt traveling thing that you can use instead of uh, putting here one, we'll use the prompt traveling. And if you use two, then it will use the normal prompt. And these prompts are piping in into a control net, um, yeah, onto a control net mode here, which is set to 80% because apparently Otherwise, it won't. It will be too strong, and it won't let anything from the IP adapter show. So it depends how much you can put here. Maybe this is even uh, too strong, but you can also soften it with this node in here that you can use to have like a time step uh, keyframes, and this will soften it a bit if you want to use that. And to use it, of course, you have to select bypass and then it will be enabled. If you bypass it, then it won't be, you cannot use it. And the same for these ones, like this different, uh, I think they are preprocessors, like you can use like Kani, Linert. This anime liner gives like a, it has like a more more lines into the thing and I think it darkens the result. So that's why I'm using the normal, um, I think it's a realistic liner. Yeah, that's the one. And then we have the mold uh, piping in into the animated diff mold here. And this one is, it goes back into the IP adapter. And this IP adapter, you can select like the stranding here, probably this goes well from 50 to, to 80%. So 70% was uh, quite good for this. And that's what I left it there. And it's basically the last one before it pipes back into a, into a case sampler. And uh, we have this, this, um, how is the name? This is the sampling discrete which is the last one that pipes in here. And this for you, you can use it or uh, you can bypass it if you want. Maybe if you bypass it, it will have a bit more consistency, but it will be a, a little bit slower, that's all. And this is your result at the end. And this workflow, you can get it from the ConfUI workflows uh, website that you can get in here when you are in, of course, in Confi UI, there is this manager and you can get your workflows from the gallery here. So you can open this 
and it will show like the, all the workflows that are available will appear here or you can get it from my um, coffee page you can come here and get it for free and there are more workflows you can see by the latest maybe mine appear there and it tells you how many nodes it's using and all of that yeah well so that's all i hope you like this uh, workflow and thank you very much for watching bye bye